Hello viewers, today for initial checkout we have a General Electric analog or Anatan answering system or telephone answerer as it's calling itself. This is another one of the pieces from the letter H or the H and so this video of course is for him as well as the Aaron Dunn because he wanted to see more answering machines. The Cassetti dwells in the top here. It's a micro Cassetti and it is the Olympus brand and it is the model MC-30 and the Anatan machine itself is the model number 29801C or that's the black one rather the white one which is this one is the model 2902890 why can't I read numbers the model number is 29802C okay and it is it looks like a product of the Atkins, although it says the Thompson. It's a product. It's a. It's a product of the Thompson, and my brain is just not working anymore. I guess it was refurbished. I don't know what that quality check stuff means. Made in China. Telephone answerer. The volume control on the side, it's not infinite range, it's just two settings, I guess. And we play stop, announce, and that's just a light, not even a button. But it's a very, very simple machine. If this is executed well, this could be a brilliant interface, or it could be a total disaster that's hard to use. Let's find out. Here is the AC adapter, it is a product of the Thompson. And it is the 2-9801. The output is the AC, 9 volts. I've been seeing that AC output quite often recently. I thought that was a very obscure thing, but I guess it's not that obscure. Don't quite understand that because I suspect the circuitry has to run on DC. I don't know how the circuitry can run on AC. But whatever. Anyway, so let's plug this thing in. making some initialization sounds. I have to click on a couple of things on this computer here because I'm trying to do something else at the same time. I guess it's still initializing. I'm not sure what it's doing now. It just rewound itself. Now it looks like it's playing. Messages are flashing. So let's see if it has any messages. Okay, how about an announcement? It doesn't seem to want to do anything. Let's try, um, I'll turn it off. And I'm going to take the cassette out and turn it around and see if it'll cooperate with this side. Here's to be the rewinding. I think it's going pretty fast.
Okay. Now it's doing that thing again where it's playing. Or it looks like it's playing anyways. It's rewinding. Now it's just going fast forwards. Okay, it's going backwards. It's playing again. And we're back to the flashing light state. Well, I don't think it's going to work. Is it recording my Anatan announcement? Is it recording my Anatan announcement? Okay. Now there's no messages, so I could understand why it's not playing near this time. So let's begin. Well, we've already begun. Let's call it up. There's no phone on this on this testing line here at the moment, so it's uh, you're not going to hear it ringing. You'll just have to accept the fact that it's ringing. Okay, here we go. And I didn't set this up correctly. Okay, so it should be going through the phone, through the answer machine now. I don't know what the setting is for the ring time. Not sure how you'd even change it. There's no settings on this thing. Did I just mess it up? I think I may have turned it off. I guess there's no way to stop the call screening. It's just going to have to be a feedback freak show then. Seems like it's six rings. Okay, now it should be recording on the Inatan tape. This is a test. One, two, three, four, five, six. It sounded pretty clear on the greeting, so hopefully it'll sound good on the incoming messages as well. Okay, so the message light is now flashing. Let's play back these messages, or this message. 
one messages okay now it should be recording on the entertainment tape this is a test one two three four five six it sounded pretty clear on the greeting so hopefully it'll sound good on the incoming messages as well That sounded really good. That's surprising. Now that there's messages in there, I'm going to take this out. I'm going to flip it around and I want to see if it'll play the messages from the other side, if there is any. I'm not sure if there are or not. So you're going to have to rewind. I think that letter said there was some messages on there. I wonder if the greeting has a time limitation. I tend to think it probably doesn't on something like this. Because theoretically, I don't see why it couldn't be as long as the tape is. Perhaps the tape is blank. Let's see if we can play back the announcement. Nope, I guess it's all blank. Okay, let's record a new announcement. Hello, this is Bill's Hardware Store. If you'd like to place an order for donuts, record a message after the tone. Wait for the long beep. This is not a stupid iPhone where it just records immediately. It takes a little while to start recording. If you don't record a message, we're not fulfilling your order and we're not calling you back. Okay, I'm going to call it again. I'll wait for it to finish whatever it's doing. This action right here seems redundant. It's like it, it plays until it hears the beep, then it rewinds and it plays again. It's kind of strange. Anyways, I'll call it up. Records immediately. It takes a little while to start recording. 
If you don't record a message, we're not fulfilling your order and we're not calling you back. Okay, now it's ready to record. It should be recording my message now. I'm recording from the AT&T 210. I'm trying to get as far away from it as I can so there's no feedback freak show. I really like this Digitan, it's not even the Digitan, this Anditan engine machine thus far. Perhaps I'll use this for a period of time, although I am concerned that I'll miss calls because people are impatient, they don't wait for the tone, and they just hang their stupid iPhone up and call it later or something. Over and out. Okay, now I'm going to call again now there's a message on there so we can get an idea of how much longer it takes when there's a message on there. Oh, faster this time. Hello, this is Bill's Hardware Store. If you'd like to place an order for donuts, record a message after the tone. Wait for the long beep. This is not a stupid iPhone where it just records it immediately. It takes a little while to start recording. If you don't record a message, we're not fulfilling your order and we're not calling you back. Okay, it's recording now. The testing engine machine just fell over. This message is coming from the 2554 telephone. This will be an interesting comparison of the sound quality because this one has the carbon microphone, whereas the 210 has the condenser microphone. And both of the microphones are as close as physically possible to where I'm speaking from. Okay, let's play these messages. Okay, now it's ready to record. It should be recording my message now. I'm recording from the AT&T 210. I'm trying to get as far away from it as I can so there's no feedback freak show. I really like this Digitan, it's not even the Digitan, this Anditan engine machine thus far. Perhaps I'll use this for a period of time, although I am concerned that I'll miss calls because people are impatient, they don't wait for the tone, and they just hang their stupid iPhone up and call it later or something. Over and out. Okay, it's recording now. The testing engine machine just fell over. This message is coming from the 2554 telephone. This will be an interesting comparison of the sound quality because this one has the carbon microphone, whereas the 210 has the condenser microphone. And both of the microphones are as close as physically possible to where I'm speaking from. Okay, so despite being a product of the Thompson, or the Atkins, or whatever it is, seems like a pretty decent machine. I guess there was a period of time 
in, I don't know, it was maybe like the early 2000s, I guess, or late 90s, where some of this Atkins Thompson stuff was pretty decent. This must be one of those products. Now, the message is, I don't know how to get rid of them. We just press and hold this. I think it's just trying to play them again. There's got to be a way to clear that out. But I'm not sure what it is. I'll have to see if I get a manual for this name that will provide some more insight on how to use the thing. Anyways, that seems to be working as it should be. And the sound quality is really quite good.